Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Extension. We are in chapter 3 talking about testing in virtual environments uh, and still continuing with the 3.2 testing in Zill test environment. And as a part of this, the last topic, this is the part 2 of this, talking about 3.2.4 comparison of the Zill test environments. Now here, as a part of the second part of this particular tutorial, we are continuing ahead to compare the Zill test environment from meeting the test objectives, which might be definitely an area of interest for the tester, where uh, this table here will definitely give you the ideas on the test objectives, which are described in the more detail uh, with certain examples, and also to measure that how exactly these can be addressed in different uh, environments of Zill like mill, sill, and hill, where it can be addressed the best and where it might not be sensible at all. And also, at certain point of time, this uh, test environments can be suitable for certain test objectives, but not at all recommended for some of the objectives. So yes, this diversified approach becomes evident, especially in the testing of the mechanism of the defect detection and handling. That's more important for us to make sure that how early we can find a defect at any point of time. So let's get into the table and understand more that what exactly is recommended at what point of time in different test environment. So the very first test type comes as the test customer requirements, which is more about the business requirements which are meeting the specifications of the customer starting right at the beginning of it. Now what exactly is the description in terms of understanding what we can refer to the customer requirements here? Correct provisions of the required functionality this includes the correct processing of the input, the correct reaction to input as well as the correct data output at the exit point. Now this is what we generally talk from the point of the user expectations or the customer expectation, making sure that everything is met as expected. Now these kind of things are highly recommended in hill environment or can be measured as a part of hill because hill environment is actually most closer to the real-time environment whereas if we talk about mill and sill such business requirements can actually begin being tested right at the beginning right from the model and the software in the loop environments but they are somewhere possible not completely recommended so here in this table the plus represents recommended recommended uh, test environment and the o represents possible to a certain extent but minus or hyphen uh, represents that not sensible at all does not work in such environments let's move to the second one here we are talking about the test mechanisms for the defect detection and handling which is a very critical area to make sure that how exactly defect detections can be uh, can be done as a part of the life cycle and generally we prefer to have it much earlier in the life cycle compared to later now here what exactly we are trying to talk about from the point of mechanisms of defect detection detecting uh, detection and handling of the random hardware faults detection and handling of software defects transfer to a safe state after defects are detected example deactivation of a system if in case anything is being detected there so now this type of defect handling is recommended or generally can happen at any environment be it mill cell or hill anywhere you can find defects related to hardware defect related to software or any kind of state transfer which happens definitely can be measured at any environment so there's no specific environment to find a defect of course a defect can be found at any point of time the next one is test reaction to the configuration data which means check the influence of configuration data such as parameter sets or variant coding to the behavior of the test object now here this is generally recommended in the software in the loop and the uh, hardware in the loop combination so when it comes to the environments like sill and hill these are generally performed but when it comes to the mill uh, it is possible but definitely if we are talking about the configuration data then it's more recommended to be found or addressed during sill and hill environments test diagnosis function which means uh, or stands for correct provisions of the required diagnosis functionality such as the defect detection as well as defect setting and reset requirements the defect setting in the defect memory as well now this is again highly recommended in cell and hill can be very well performed from the point of diagnosis of a function analyzing any kind of anomalies with respect to the code and definitely detecting those things could be quite easier when it comes to the cell and hill but not at all possible when it comes to model based uh, environment where model in the loop is being considered in mill 
test environment. So, of course, MIL has a prototype and simple models of the same. So, definitely we cannot get such keen information and detail uh, at any point of time during the MIL. Test interaction side interfaces. Check uh, internal and external interfaces of the test item. Of course, when it comes to the interfaces and integrations, at least we should be having SIL and HIL environment. But when it comes to the model, of course, the integration and interfaces may not be tested because it's not that close to the real test environment. And definitely, we don't have the software in the loop. We don't have the hardware in the loop. We only have models. So it is somewhere possible if you are still targeting your models to be measured from that aspect. Otherwise, definitely, SIL and HIL will address those things. Prove usability. That means the observed test item should be usable as required and as expected by the user from the usability point of view user friendliness could be measured and definitely that is mostly measured from the real point of view so when it comes to the user friendliness of any particular product you have to be as real as possible in terms of the test environment and make sure that everything is as per the real test environment to measure such user friendliness because when it comes to the model base of course you don't have anything still at least you have your software so yes it is possible but hill is completely as close to a uh, real test environment as possible so you can address your user uh, related queries and uh, concerns during the hill test environments. Well, this is what we just wanted to convey you as a part of it, but there is more like in accordance with the principle of front loading, of course, the front loading is principle which is related to your foundation level like early testing is important. Front loading generally stands for that defect uh, which is found much earlier in the life cycle, as early as possible, it is better and cheaper to resolve. Because sometimes these defects are so complicated that once you have moved to a hill environment and you found such things, you might have to repeat certain activities right from the mill test environment. So you need to make sure that you find a defect much earlier in the life cycle, it is definitely better. So that's what the front loading principle stands for. The general conclusions is that basic requirement and design defects are already detected early through the testing. Therefore, MIL is used for detection of general design defects, SIL mostly for the technical software defects, and HIL for the technical hardware and software defects. So here we are trying to summarize that what kind of defects basically can be identified in different environments. No matter we have different environments with different variants, but yes, they are all capable of finding different types of defect at their own place. Furthermore, it is possible to, it is important to note that apart from the evidences of the stability and the reliability, efficiency and performance as well as usability, all the test types focus on the functionality suitability of the test item. So no matter you talk about the functional or the non-functional parameters, everything can be well addressed here. In the test strategy, the tester that is in the role of the test manager, assigns the scope of testing to several different test environments. By combining the criteria out of the table three and four, like the tables which we discussed in the previous tutorial and this tutorial, the test manager can choose the optimal test environment. So generally, again, coming back to the test manager's responsibility here that the test manager must consider the scope of various testing and different objectives, what we just saw in the table, that what should be conducted at what point of time and different test environment. So test manager must critically be responsible for determining such activities and scheduling them or aligning them to the right side of test environment, which could address the key area and the objective of that particular specification of test. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. We will be having another part of this particular segment as we have more to discuss. So expect the part three coming tomorrow on the same. Till then, definitely keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.